Why settle for an ordinary booking page when you can have a page that's going to do more than just a booking. So with Lunacal AI, we're able to add sections that can be the about us, the experience, frequently asked questions, a gallery. You can do a whole lot with Lunacal. Plus, it looks really great. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is Lunacal AI, and it's not just about booking, but having a useful booking page that is going to do more than just a booking. Now, right now, it's on a lifetime deal, so you want to check that in the description. Now, creating one of these booking pages to look really awesome, it's going to be super easy. You have options to create your booking section, the about company, what the company is about, frequently asked questions. We can add more tabs. We can add more sections. We can move sections. And it's just super easy to edit everything here in LunaCal. And if I just go ahead and preview this right now, it's already looking great. So it's not just an ordinary booking block that looks nasty. In this case, it's nice. It looks good. And it's super easy to create. Now, before I get started and show you how to do your booking page here on LunaCal AI, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Sales Ape AI. So if you are looking for a 24-7 agent that's going to take care of your inbound leads to qualify them, this is a fantastic option. This way, you are not wasting human resources to make sure that it's a good lead or not. Sales Ape is going to take care of this for you automatically, and you'll get an onboarding team to help you set up your Sales Ape AI system so it will work the way you want it. So check out Sales Ape AI down here in the description. And if you want to check it out, go ahead and sign up here with your email address and you can see it in action for your own. So get started right now with Sales Ape. Now to get started with LunaCal AI, it's super easy. Once you open up your account, it's going to ask you to connect your Google Calendar, your Microsoft Calendar, Google Meetings, Zoom, and other connections that you can connect to with LunaCal AI. And you're going to be created with the actual setup of your LunaCal AI page. So in this case, if I go preview this page, this is going to be the look of my page right now. So it's already looking great. I have tabs available for certain information, and these were generated automatically with the AI that LunaCal has when you first set up. So it kind of gives you the push on how to get started and what to add. Now I can change the look and style with the themes. So in this case, there's a professional one that looks more like the ordinary look, but you still get the benefits of the widgets here on the right, which is pretty cool. There's also the bold, which you just saw right now. There's the playful. I kind of don't like this, but it depends on your branding that this might look good and the nor. So if, it's, if you like the style, it's fantastic. But I do like the bold one. I like the colors and it looks great for my use. Case, okay. Now, in this case, I have sections and I can edit these sections straight from here by just typing in and it's super easy to just modify things here. I can get rid of a section if I want to. For example, if I just remove this, it's gone. I don't have that tab anymore. If I click the plus button, I have a new tab and I can give this a title for the tab and the content for it. Plus, I have the details here that I can use for this tab. I can add videos to this. I can add testimonials like you just saw right here, the about me, and I can just go ahead and remove these. I can move them around and I can add more if I like. So it's super easy to get started with LunaCal AI. Now that's for the look of the actual calendar page. Now for the actual editing of the booking system, we're going to go into configuration and settings. Now here we're able to create different event types. So an event can be, you know what, a 60 minute event. The other one could be a sales event, etc. Just create your own type of events for the type of meetings that you want to have enabled on your booking page. Now I'm going to go to edit this and this is where I'm going to edit the details for this actual calendar for this specific meeting. Okay. So I got your title, the event description, the duration of this I can do instead of a mixed duration, let it sit right here, the group booking. So I can set this to on if I want to allow that meeting location. So in this case, I have several options depending on what I have connected. In this case, I have connected Google meet and zoom video, but I also have the option to connect Microsoft teams, face time or in person, etc. I have several options available for this game okay? or at another location right here. And then we have the availability options here. So set what you are going to be available for. So first off, I got my time zone and then I have enabled what I want right here. For example, I don't want to do Fridays. I just want to do Monday to Thursday and I, I want to make a pause. So I want to stop, for example, at 12 p.m. And I'm going to add another time slot right here. And it's going to start off at 12.45 p.m. There it is. And it's going to end at 5 p.m. Okay, so in this case, I have a short break right there where I don't want someone to book here. So it's just super easy to add time slots to each one of these days. If I want to enable Saturday, just go ahead and take this on and I am good to go. I can also customize the availability exceptions. So I can add exceptions here 
to remove dates. So for example, maybe I don't want to uh, have a bookings any day for the 28th, the 27th, the 26th, uh, maybe set off the uh, Christmas vacation days, etc. Just go ahead and add the exceptions right here. And it's just super easy. You got your booking limit settings. So a uh, buffer before event, buffer after event, you got your buffers there. So someone can book before someone already booked in the time slot or someone can book if it's going to be one hour from now which is a great idea. You don't want someone to book right away and don't have the time to be available for that person. So buffers work in that sense. The advanced notice, the minimum notice, you've got hours, days, minutes, etc. Max bookings per event, advanced booking limits. You can set all these on and you'll get the settings for each one of these to set up here on Lunacal AI. Your booking questions. So kind of like a form before they actually get started, you can add them right here and you have the options for email, phone, long text, drop down, pipe drive, etc all these available options for the booking questions, the integrations, you can integrate with HubSpot CRM, PayPal, uh, pipe drive. You got your workflows where you can automate, for example, emails, which you can trigger before an event. And that's created already right here. And it's super easy to set up. So when this happens do this, and it's going to send an email to the attendee with the variables already from the meeting. And it's going to send off that email really quickly. You got your advanced options to send a URL after booking. So if you want to send them to a, I don't know, it's a deals site or maybe a section where you're going to provide the about us, the privacy policy, the main page, etc. You can do that with this. You can add your calendars right here. The time intervals disable canceling so they can't cancel, which is not a good idea because you don't want someone to just skip the meeting because you didn't give them the option to cancel and you go to that meeting. Disable rescheduling website embed. So if you want to embed this and this is a good option, especially if you don't have the custom domain available. So if you just embed this on a website, you're good to go and you can skip the custom domain because there's a deal right now going on that doesn't have included the custom domain. Okay. So do consider that. Then you can view your bookings right here. The upcoming unconfirmed, the past is canceled your team that you can add right here, depending on the plan that you're on. It's the amount of team members that you can add your integrations, several integrations available here. Here's all the integrations available as of this video including Zapier, which is a fantastic option because you can connect so many things with Zapier and your general settings available right here. So your general settings for the booking link, the name, the designation, the calendar, remove the branding, depending on the plan that you are on. If you're on the LTD, you can go ahead and do that there. The out of office data control GDPR, your account, your calendar connect right here, your conferencing, your availability and your workflows all available here in LunaCal AI. So definitely a fantastic option to create your booking pages that are going to look really beautiful and have that additional benefit of providing more information plus looking really good. So definitely check out LunaCal AI right now. It's a lifetime deal. So there's three tiers available as of this video. I am on the tier two because I don't mind the custom domain since I can embed this on my website in case I don't want to share the LunaCal AI link, but you have three available options. I would definitely go with tier two. But if you can't afford it, go for license tier one. And if you need more team members, go for license tier three. But that is LunaCal AI. And don't forget about Sales Ape AI. Remember, if you want to take care of your leads without having to use human resources, then check out Sales Ape AI. And that's a wrap.